Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. So um, today's video is going to be a cook with me. So today I am making a spaghetti squash with meatballs and red sauce. And it's basically like a low carb. You can do this if you're Atkins or you can do this if you're keto. So um, also if you're on that Weight Watchers freestyle, most of these things would be zero points or minimal points. So it kind of touches on a lot of people. So. Let me show you how I do it. And yeah, I've had a couple questions and these, my cooking videos are doing like really well, which is surprising because I mean, I'm just kind of getting into the swing of cooking, you know? So if you guys are new here, I would hope you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and stick around and hang out with me. I put up videos on a regular basis a couple times a week, but I am doing 12 days of Vlogmas. So I'm trying to get a video up every day, hopefully by 10 p.m. my time, central time so you guys can watch. All right, let's start dinner, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put my oven to preheat at 425. Leave my spaghetti squash in the refrigerator because I don't know why I do it. Um, take the sticker off. So basically how I do it is I got a big old cookie sheet. I'm gonna line that with foil, but first we're gonna cut this sucker in half. It's kind of hard, and so you gotta be careful because I don't want you guys like to cut your hand off. Um, but yeah, they say there's like a way, I did read on Pinterest that like if you put it in the microwave for like three minutes or something, it softens it. I've never done it. Because I prefer to live on the dangerous side and almost cut my hand off. All right, guys. All right. So I got my little tiny little cutting board. So this is how I do it, right? It's never cut easy or evenly, you know, but it's cut nonetheless. Ugh. Be careful. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So on the inside, oops, on the inside of this, it has like these seeds, you know? So I scoop those out just like you would do like a pumpkin. Ooh, next time I wouldn't throw that in the fridge. It's like they're really cold, so it's kind of hard to get the guts out. I'm taking some foil, and I'm just going to line my baking sheet. This baking sheet is ridiculous, guys. I think I showed it to you before, but it's like super big. So, I put it on my baking sheet like so, and we are going to take all right guys, so what I do is I take some, this is like vegetable oil, extra virgin, whatever oil you have on hand. This is the only one I got and it's the week of Christmas, so I am not going back out to those stores for all the tea in China. So I take like this little brush and I just brush it around, you know? What do they call it, like basting? Is it basting? Basting, I don't know. So it's both sides. I get the inside real good and then I get the outside so it gets nice and toasty. We don't want it to be dry. Okay. Garlic powder here. And I'm going to give this a nice coat. I ran out of my Kirkland one. So I'm using this Aldi one for now. Not my favorite, but it'll do. I'm going to take some Italian seasoning. a nice coat. And then some salt and pepper. Okay. And then the trick is, is you gotta put it face down. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Whoa. I'm gonna set it actually for 35 minutes instead of 25. All right, so that's going. I'm gonna show you the meatballs we're gonna be having. If you guys watch my channel before or follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. These are one of my favorites. I get these from Aldi. I think they're about five bucks a bag. And the meatballs are delicious. And for six meatballs, it's six carbs. So about um, a carb of meatball. And they're pretty good size. 
So, we do those meatballs, and let me show you my pasta sauce that I use. This is the one we have right now. It's the Victorio Organic Sauce. We get ours from Costco. For about a half a cup, it's four carbs. Um, if you have Rouse, if you use the brand Rouse, it's R-A-O, that's way less carbs. It was more money, and we got two for like the price of one. So, um, yeah, I do measure out my sauce because it can you can get a little crazy with it. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you when this is done. All right, guys, so the timer has about two minutes left. So I'm gonna throw these meatballs in. I just cook them to directions. So it says 25 minutes. So what I cook them in are these foil trays. We get them from Costco, like the big huge pack of them, and they're lifesavers. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven with the squash. Adjust timer accordingly, and that's it. You know what? Let me check. So how I tell that it's done is if it's soft, and it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in. So when you give it a squeeze, it should bend. So we'll cook that for like another like 20 minutes. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I pulled this out. Oh man, it's all wet. And remember I told you, as long as it gets some, if you would squeeze it and it's soft, then you're all good. So, we get, we get some flippers. So that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to let it, you see how that oil gave it the nice crust on the outside? <clears throat> Okay. And you can see already. Let me show you with this one. Like it's already, you can see how it's becoming like spaghetti noodles. So we're going to let this cool off. We have about another eight minutes or so for the meatballs. We're gonna, and then once these cool off, I'll show you how we shred it. I already have a side salad made because I try to eat salad with every meal. And then I'll show you how I plate it up. All right, so I'm going with the grain, and you see I just take my fork. Oh, God. And you see how you can just shred it? Still a little hot. I mean, I guess I could have waited a little bit longer, but your girl is hungry. And my babies are hungry, because, you know, kids get home from school and they're like bottomless pits. Am I the only one that makes dinner? Like... <laughs> Five o'clock in the afternoon. I lied. It's four o'clock. No wonder why we're all hungry by seven. So I just kind of take my fork through the bottom and kind of loosen everything up. So yeah. Ooh, it smells so bummer. So there's one cup, and I'm gonna take six meatballs. So that's six meatballs, and then I'm going to do the pasta sauce, so 113, so about 54. I'm going to do half of a serving, because I'm getting old and I got acid reflux. Oh, I just got that. So that's what that looks like, and then I'm going to take some Parmesan. So yeah, that's what that looks like. So there you go. That's what's for dinner, my friends. All right, guys, so yeah, totally a separate option for a low-carb meal. It's a little bit higher in carbs, but still low-carb. Still got that comfort food idea going, and it's super filling, and it tastes so good. Um, you could definitely do more pasta sauce, but like I said, I got this acid reflux kick in my butt. Um, I might even throw top it with some fresh mozzarella just to give it a little bit more fat and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna plate everything up I'm gonna feed my girls and yeah that's it so thank you guys for joining me for a cook with me type 
video. And if you guys like these videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what other um, what other meals you guys like because I always kind of have options for my low carb lifestyle. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and link it like right here and I'll always have it linked below. Um, I did tell everybody on Instagram today that at the beginning of the year, I am no longer going to be doing like a keto lifestyle and I am going to go switch over to the Weight Watchers freestyle. Um, I need a change. I need to get back into my fitness game. I need to really embrace that lifestyle again. I fell off of it a lot this year since I've been doing keto because a lot of people say not to work out on keto. Um, yeah, and I really like the idea of the Weight Watchers freestyle. I'm going to go ahead and give that a try for three months. I'll update you guys on my progress and everything. Um, see how it goes but if I don't like it then I'll just go back keto simple as that right all right I'm gonna eat dinner I'll see you guys later see you on vlogmas day six babes thanks for watching bye guys